Hey, what's going on, tribe? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so let's see what the energy is like for you guys this evening or whenever you tune into this video, okay? Now, look, the, the hostility card is up. The anxiety card is up, okay? What's going on, collective? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides. Thank you for helping me with this reading. Protect us as we go through these portals to come in with you, okay? Thank you, my spirit team, my true guides, for being here with me to deliver this message. Protect my energy, my throat chakra, please. And so it is, all right? Because it's heavy, okay? So something could be messing with somebody's energy, all right? Um, definitely somebody's defenses is up, hostility, fear, anxiety, and low vibrations, boom, okay? So tell me about the hostility card here. <laughs> this hostility about and, and again like this is you know past present future energies i don't know where you fall at on the timeline if it doesn't fit don't force it the higher font card is in the reverse position flip your roles as you see fit so somebody could be rebelling or somebody could be doing things kind of unconventional okay and it's causing somebody to be on a defense, all right? Somebody could be lacking commitment to something or someone. Ten of swords in the reverse, okay? So we already know what that's about, all right? So usually, um, I feel like somebody's trying to fix something, whether it's a relationship or or somebody's, you know, fighting to survive, whatever it could be, or for fighting for improvement, right? There's a lesson behind behind this is how I'm hearing it. Tell me about this. Yeah, you may feel exhausted or something here. You may be going through some type of separation or grief or something here um, where you may feel like something hit a dead end or, or something. I don't know what's, what's going on here. And again, this isn't your energy. This is somebody connected to you. Could be some type of disaster of some sort. That's making you feel hopeless with the temperance card. Oh, the star card in the reverse next to the temperance card in the reverse. This is like fear. A lot of anxiety. Over what? What is this anxiety about? nine of pentacles comes out so somebody could have a lot of anxiety here over their um material satisfaction okay i got the ten of wands in the reverse over their self-sufficiency over their independence whatever it is it's like somebody is worried about something here um when it comes to either finances or giving up their independence or something something it's like it's insurmountable problems okay Tell me about this nine of pentacles. Ace of cups. When it comes to love, all right, a new beginning or something like this in love, possibly. Okay. It's time to let go of something. Uh, that's how I'm hearing. I'm, I'm hearing that somebody's getting an opportunity for a new beginning, a chance to start fresh or something here. But somebody is still kind of like, burden and not moving forward six of swords comes out okay not moving on somebody can't move on somebody's having a hard time letting go who is this and i feel like somebody actually is in this story transitioning and moving on but somebody is still not letting go okay or not changing or something here it could be you know moving away from a a, a place or a job or a relationship whatever it is Four swords. Okay, so basically what I'm getting is like somebody needs to rest. Take some time to recover and heal, okay, so that you can move on. Five of cups in the reverse. Again, somebody is still holding on to something, some type of loss or grief. All right, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull some other cards. Um, but the overall theme to this is just like surrender to the divine, honey. That's what I'm hearing. 
release and let go, okay? Because this energy is not the right energy to be in, especially when you're trying to manifest your desires and things like that. That will literally keep you stuck, okay? Mm. Tell me where to go, Spirit Team, because this is this is kind of rocky. I don't know exactly what this is about. Yeah, this is a time for healing. That's spirit, so that's what it's about. This is a time to rest, rejuvenate, and heal. Somebody may have been put in a predic predicament where they got to sit still, okay? You know how it's like sometimes you keep pushing and pushing and not dealing or facing yourself, so you end up getting sick or something. And, you know, it's like, damn, this is making me sit down. I can't keep juggling. I can't keep moving. I can't keep doing this, right? I got to sit down and face myself or heal or recover. Um, yeah, because as you're doing this, look, because you're you're at the end of a tough cycle, it's approaching. But the thing is, it's like somebody cannot see this, right? Somebody doesn't see that this is happening because when you're so caught up in seeing what's not working in your life, you tend to neglect to see what actually is, okay? And so with this end of this tough cycle approaching, and I'm going to read that to you guys from the book. I got my space heater blowing directly on me. It's kind of like cold in here because my hair wet. I washed it, y'all. So hopefully it ain't too much background noise. I got the lapel mic on, but you know how technology be sometimes, y'all. It don't be working. But however, full moon in Capricorn. I know my face kind of red as crap. <laughs> mm -hmm. It says, that's it. So how hard are you willing to work for what you want? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up. If you're wondering if you should stay or, or leave a job, um, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. But the end of a rough time is forecast. This card could also ask you to consider how ambitious you are and whether you're prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. With a love question, this card can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more, but release the control and trust the universe. A professional project may be ending now or admit if you have been overly hard-headed or hard-nosed. Find a balance between your personal and private life. And it's time to stop fearing the worst. Making a plan is far better use of your time. And that's how I feel. It feels like somebody literally is just fearing the worst. Okay. Make a plan. You know, this is the end of a cycle for you. And I know it's been very tough. But let's see. It's been tough for like everybody collectively. I feel like it just seems like shit has been hitting the fan left and right. Right. So I know I've been praying like, Lord, please start in now. Let there be peace and joy and ease as we go into 2023, like the whole year. Like, I think we should be granted that grace, right? Because <laughs> it's, been, it's been almost goddamn near traumatic. Yeah, it's justice. <laughs> You're getting your justice. All right, the scales is going to balance out for you. Um, yeah, whatever the decisions is, it's going to be made fair and just. I feel like the universe is definitely rocking with you on this. Because especially if you're in your integrity, okay? So, you know, if you ain't in your integrity and you're doing shit sideways, then yeah, of course, karma going to hit you, right? And you're going to have to go through some stuff. But if you're doing what you're supposed to do, then the universe is going to operate and work in your favor, okay? So, um, I'm going to read from this so you can hear what the justice card means from this book. It's about truth and integrity, fair compensation, the law, cause and effect. Okay, being responsible for your choices and actions, balance, karma, ethics, all that stuff, right? Karmic alterations. And all the things race through her mind as she approaches the gateway of justice. Even though the destination is the same, the way she arrives has great bearing on her experience of the journey. Have I done the right thing? Do I feel proud of my actions? Have I been honest and fair? Do I walk with integrity? Have I acted in alignment with my heart and with my values? Her benevolent intentions have seeded her path with positive experiences and added ease. With a clear heart, she takes full responsibility for her actions, and with the law of cause and effect, her reality has been fashioned in kind. In the beginning, there is a choice. In the middle, there is justice, law, karma, and in the end, we meet our own hearts with great clarity. 
But what I'm getting out of this is nothing to fear. If you're in your integrity, it's going to work out in your favor. But if you haven't done the right thing, if you don't feel proud of your own actions, if you weren't honest and fair, if you didn't walk with integrity, if you didn't act in alignment with your own heart, true de your own true desires, right, and your values, then no, the scales won't balance, okay? But however, you know, it feels like you guys are on the right side of karma. So look, boo, breathe easy tonight and get some rest, okay? So this is going to be your period of recovery. And as you are recovering and you're balancing yourself out, you're getting answers. So pay attention to your intuition in your dreams, okay? So write your dreams down, but you're getting divinely guided answers for your next step, okay? All right, y'all. So I love you. Hit the like button. Peace.